السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس الیونتھ ہینڈ ہوپ دیٹ یو ول بی فائن ایٹ ہوم اینڈ یو آر می آئی پریٹ آل مائی ڈی دیٹ یو می بی گڈ ان اے گڈ ہیلتھ ایٹ ہوم اینڈ آلسو ہیونگ ہوپ دیٹ یو ول بی لرننگ دا مٹیریلز وچ یو ہیو ایٹ یور ہوم سو دیٹ یو ول بی گیٹ سکسیس ان یور ایگزامینیشنز Thank you, my dear students, receiving these and advices of mine. Now, today we will discuss, uh, last, in last lecture we have discussed what was the reformation, how it caused it, and what were its aims. Now, today we will discuss what was the consequence of reformation, because in the world everything has positive and negative sides. Now, today we will discuss what was the consequence. In consequence, we find that it has a far-reaching effect. The Renaissance has far-reaching effects on the life of the European society. The European society was that it caused asceticism in church, especially the Reformation was against the control power of church. The Reformation divided European society into two distinct groups, that is Catholic, Catholic and and Protestant. Protestants. These became two hostile groups in Europe. Mm, one was Catholic Church and another was Protestant Church. But thus, we say that in the Reformation, in uh, consequence of Reformation, the European society was divided into two groups, Catholic Church, the people belong to Catholic Church and the, Pro and the Protestants. Education received a powerful input as an aftermath of Reformation because education became common, education became popular among the European nations. We find that the Education played an important role for the inputs in an aftermath of the Reformation. Because in some parts we find that the Catholic Church was um, having power, and in other parts we find that Protestant uh, uh, Church having power. In Germany we find that there was a Protestant Church under which people um, were uh, living, and in uh, Rome we find there was a Catholic Church on um, going on. No doubt the papacy class was having much power and a great, uh, gripped whole the life of the people have, was weakened because of the reformation and because of the renaissance. And reformation in we go with the development of vernacular language. We find in reformation vernacular language development in vernacular language developed in the Europe. Vernacular language means because when uh, the people of uh, Europe having close contacts with other parts of the world because I have already told you they have made colonies in Asia and Africa and also uh, America. So large number of languages came in contact with Europe so that there was a development of vernacular Cooler languages of various countries. And similarly, church had great influence on art and literature during medieval ages. We find that church who played an important role for the development of art and literature. Art and literature in Middle Ages in Europe. But this also played an important role in the uh, later on in the renaissance period because this art and literature helped people to uh, develop their nation and the nation states had already emerged before as before the renaissance before the reformations we have already noticed that the nation states have already emerged nation states In Europe. In these uh, nation states, we find that 
reformation became an active uh, part for the for the development of these nation states collaboration for these nation states and strengthened the power and prestige of these nation states it was counter reformation because on one side if we find that the whole european whole christianity was dependable upon only the catholic church of italy now it became the time when the european society was divided into districts we find that into cities into and uh, centers uh, and the reform and the counter reformation is um, we find that the protest uh, protestants was also emerged in other parts of the europe especially in germany we find that the people uh, were also became free from the uh, bondage of the catholic church of italy thus it helped Uh, in other words we can say on one side it was helpful for the people to live a uh, comfortable life to live a life without uh, the papacy or clergy men but on the other side it divided the europeans among themselves because they were always uh, already having wars with uh, their old rival that was the uh, muslims and the division of this european power help the muslims to come back and got many territories in other parts of the world good thus and the nation states had already emerged before reformation and reformation gave them new power and vigor go in uh, europe we find that uh, the reformation helped them to uh, to make strong government of their nation states instead of having control of the papacy in uh, having the catholic church of italy in europe thus we can see that the, uh, on one side reformation was a help reformation helped people to live a uh, more uh, sensitive life more free life and then the uh, because they became free from the bondage of the catholic church of or papacy class in the italy but on the other side it divided the european nations into small unities which helped the their enemy to take control on the various parts of the world this this was the all about the reformation and the counter and the consequence of reformation thank you this was all today's topic